Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chris, aka the Fairy Fro Mother. So today the girls are getting their hairs styled in an updo and I'm going to be showing you guys how I get it done. Also, we're going to be talking about the impact of gels and edge brushing on natural hair. So for this particular updo, I want some texture. Actually, I like, I prefer um, their natural hair updos with a bit of texture. So I don't like to detangle too much or use brushes or combs. You know, I like that texture that comes from when you take out a twist, right? Or when you take out um, a pleat. I like the texture. I like, I like that look. It comes with this edge, you know. So what I'm doing is I am um, lightly moisturizing the hair so that the hair still feels moisturized even while it's in the updo okay i'm applying the leave-in uh, the not how many natural leave-in conditioner i'm applying the oil and then i seal with the butter but i'm doing this while the hair is still in twists okay after i've done that then i take down each twist and just separate it lightly. I will not separate too much because like I stated earlier, I want this updo with some texture. So you guys uh, pay attention and see how I go about this. And I will be doing this style without brushing the hair and we're not using any gel at all. We're not using gels, we're not using brushes or combs. We will just uh, use the hands to arrange the hair in the direction that I want it to be. Now, this is something really beautiful about our natural hair. Our natural hair can be very loyal. Our natural hair can be extremely loyal just treat it the way it is supposed to be treated and it will obey you at any point in time. I'm sure that I've mentioned this before, but we hardly use gels. I hardly use gels to style our hair and I don't brush, especially when it comes to the edges, right? We don't use brushes for our edges. We just use our hands to arrange them and there we go okay so we'll be talking about the impact of gels and edge brushing on natural hair don't go anywhere you want to hear more about this so um i'm i'm here to actually show you that you can actually style your hair without doing too much combing without any aggressive combing without over detangling your hair you can actually style it uh, without any of that and um, you don't have to use gel all the time i'm not saying don't use gel but not all the time so with all the natural hair care practices that i that i teach here which i also apply in a in a hair care routine your hair tends to obey you know and do you also know that that gels can alter your hair curl pattern your natural curl pattern did you know that using gels all the time your curl pattern can be can be affected it can change your curl pattern too much of gel can change your curl pattern. Too much of brushing can change your hair, your hair curl pattern. And that will lead to um, frizziness. And you, you have this hair flyaways, especially for your edges. If you're using, you're laying your edge, your edges too much all the time with gel, and then you're always brushing, it will change the curl pattern of that 
area of your hair. You remember that that place, the edges are tender. They, they are fragile, right? And they don't need any form of stress. All right? So, using too much gel has several negative effects. It can bring about products build up and then your scalp and your hair strands get affected, making the hair feel heavy, greasy, and difficult to manage. It can also lead to dryness. Some gels contain ingredients that um, are drying agents. So they strip the hair of its natural oils, leading to dryness, brittleness, and breakage. It can also make you have crunchy texture. So over application of gel can result in a crunchy, stiff texture, which makes the hair feel unnatural and stiff to the touch. You know, when you touch your hair and it's just, you just feel this crunchy or stiff feel. All right, that's what um, using gel all the time does. It also causes flaking, where small white particles appear on the hair and scalp, giving it an unattractive appearance. And there's also um, difficulty in styling. So when you keep using gel over and over, it weighs your hair down and it makes it difficult to achieve desired styles, especially for those with finer hair or hairs that is that are softer in texture okay so if you have finer strands your hair is soft in texture and you keep using gels this can be a side effect for you your your hair is going to be weighed down and you know you don't want that for your hair right so in order to avoid these issues it's important to use gels just sparingly, not all the time. Opt for products that are specifically formulated for natural hair, all right? So that they provide moisture and nourishment for your hair. And remember that proper cleansing and moisturizing routines can help to prevent uh, product buildup and maintain the health and the integrity of natural hair i am not a fan of laying every single strand laying every single edge you know making it sleek and all of that no i am not a fan of that and i tell you is one of the reasons why our hair our hairs are thriving if you keep every time you want to slay you want to lay it sleek you want to um, get every single strand to lay flat and then you have to put um, gel and all of that, you will be affecting your hair. You'll be affecting your hair. What I do most of the time is I apply a hair butter to the edges and, you know, all the areas that I, I would have on a very good day applied gel. I would just go in with the hair butter. I'll just go in with the hair butter most of the time. So you see me applying something around the edges is the hair butter, the Harmony Naturals hair butter. That's what I apply. All right. And then I use my hands to shape it in the way that I want. And it obeys. The hair obeys. It's not wrong to use gel, but don't make it every single time. If you don't have gel, you will not want to style your hair. No. We have to move past that. Right, we have to move past that to be able to allow our hair to just to just be itself and to just do its thing. That way, your hair will be healthier. Your hair will will appear healthy in every sense of the word. Now, using brushes frequently on your edges can lead to several potential effects: hair breakage because you're brushing those um, delicate hairs that are along the edges too frequently or with too much force. And some people will not even be gentle. They will do it vigorously, 
you know, because you want it to be flat. You want to slay, right? It's you're causing breakage and that, uh, your edges are already fragile and they're already prone to damage. So you doing that, you're putting your edges at risk. You now see that the edges will start thinning because you're overusing your brush. There are people that every single day they have to brush their edges. Every single day they have to brush their edges. And that constant friction and tension can weaken the hair follicles around that area over time. It will weaken the hair follicles. And then there's scalp irritation because you're, you're, you're brushing the edges vigorously or with stiff bristles. It can irritate the scalp, leading to discomfort, leading to redness and even inflammation in some cases. And then you now see receding hairline because the aggressive brushing of the edges will contribute to the hairline that is receding. All right? Increasing hairline issues especially if it's combined with other factors like tight hairstyles or traction alopecia. And then you talk about freeze and flyaways. Brushing of the edges too frequently, it disrupts the natural curl pattern of the hair. So if you're the type that brush your hair all the time, you know, your hair, your edges all the time, it is disrupting the natural curl pattern of your hair and is leading to freeze and flyaways, which can be challenging to manage. So remember to be gentle with brushing your edges. Be gentle. Opt for very soft brushes and don't do it all the time. The girls loved the style. I loved the style and they were looking absolutely stunning. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and families so that they too can learn how to nurture and grow out their natural hair. I'll see you on my next one. Bye-bye.